My dear brothers and sisters, I come to you today with a message of urgency from our Almighty God. He has been giving us signs and warnings for a long time, but now the time has come for us to pay attention and take action. God is sending us three alert signs that we must receive before April 16th, or we will be left behind. Like this bead if you believe in God. The first alert sign is the increasing chaos and darkness in the world. We see it every day in the news, on social media, and even in our own communities. The world is becoming more and more divided, with violence, hatred, and immorality on the rise. This is a clear sign that we are living in the end times, as prophesied in the Bible. God is warning us through these events to wake up and turn back to Him before it's too late. Type. I embrace my power. To confirm. The second alert sign is the rapid fulfillment of biblical prophecies. The Bible tells us that in the end times, there will be wars, famines, earthquakes, and false prophets. All of these are happening right before our eyes. We cannot ignore the signs any longer. God is showing us that His Word is true and that His plan is unfolding before us. We must take heed and prepare ourselves for what is to come. The third and most urgent alert sign is the imminent return of Jesus Christ. The Bible tells us that no one knows the day or the hour of His return, but we can see the signs of the times. Jesus Himself said that when we see all these things happening, we know that His return is near. And now, with these three alert signs, God is telling us that the time is closer than we think. We must be ready, both spiritually and physically, to meet our Lord and Savior. Type yes if you needed this. My dear brothers and sisters, these alert signs are not to scare us, but to prepare us. We must not be like the five foolish virgins who were caught unprepared when the bridegroom came. We must be like the five wise virgins who had enough oil in their lamps and were ready to meet the bridegroom. We must repent of our sins, seek God's forgiveness, and live a life that is pleasing to Him. Do not delay, my friends. Time is running out. April 16th is approaching, and we do not know what will happen on that day. But we do know that God is giving us these three alert signs for a reason. He loves us and wants us to be with Him for eternity. Let us heed His warnings, receive these alert signs, and be ready for the coming of our Lord. May God bless us and keep us in His loving arms. Amen. Comment, Amen, if you believe. Heavenly Father, I bow my head and heart before you. I praise you for your eternal love and goodness. You are patient, and your mercy is everlasting. I know that I make mistakes as I try to live for you and yet you lovingly show me where I need to grow. Thank you for extending forgiveness when I ask. God, I am sorry that my prayer life has sometimes been one-sided. Please forgive me for not listening intently. I confess that I need to do better and I ask you to help me. God, I come to you with prayer requests for myself, my family, and my friends. I ask you to keep everyone safe and healthy. As I quiet my mind now, teach me to hear your voice. 
Sometimes I let the hustle and bustle of life or the noise of the enemy take my attention away from you and your word. I pray that you help me to hear you more clearly. When I hear you speak, I am comforted and lifted. Speak, Lord, I open my heart to only you. Like a sheep, I need my shepherd. As I study your word today, let your words feed me, calm me, and shed light on my path. I surrender to your will. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Dear God, thank you for everything you have done for me and my family. Forgive me of all my sins. Heal me from the hurts of my past. I pray that you guide me towards your everlasting love and shower me, my family, my friends and my loved ones in your blessings. Give me your dreams, Lord, and guide me in everything I do. Without you I am nothing, God. I surrender my all to you. If you love God and you are not ashamed of him, Put this on your wall for a day, and you will see what he will do. Amen. God chooses broken people. Being broken is a gift, because only when we are broken, we recognize the need for a savior to make us whole. Even though that plate will inevitably crack again, it has been my experience that where there is brokenness, there is also an abundance of grace. Though you may feel defeated and broken right now, God is closer than you realize. He is always with you and can mend your heart. God chooses broken people to create masterpieces. Type 333 If you trust God, your brokenness is not the end. It's a beginning of a new person he is sculpting Vu to become. The blocked road, the missed opportunity, the closed door, the heartbreak, the rejection, the pain and the turmoil was for a reason. God is protecting you, but you just don't seem to understand that. The good news is, God sees what you can't see. He doesn't look at things the way we look at it. You only have to trust the process. Trust his plan. What hurts you now won't hurt forever. Yes. It's very difficult to tolerate certain situations and people. But always remember that tolerance is a form of virtue. Your capacity to endure pain hardships will be noticed by God. God honors the sacrifice and effort you put to remain quiet at the most uncomfortable and intolerable circumstances. John 4 verse 7 For tolerance is from God, and whoever tolerates has been born of God and knows God. Your endurance through this pain is honored by God. Type. I am ready to shine. To affirm. Gifts. This one minute prayer from biblical time manifests wealth and abundance into your life. If you are a spiritual person and empath looking to better the world and yourself, then this will be the most important message you read all day. Because once you hear this divine prayer, you will finally break the curse of poverty and restore your connection with the universe, allowing you to ask, manifest and receive an abundance of blessings. Tap the link in my bio and listen to the one minute prayer now. Angel are saying to you today, they said you wouldn't make it. They said you didn't deserve it. They tried to stop you from receiving my best. My child, know that promotions and blessings come from me. What I promise you no one can take, block, or destroy. Stay in faith. 
I am about to overwhelm you with blessings. When God decides to bless you, He will cause things to come together no matter what others try to do. No weapon formed against you will prosper, and every God-ordained door will surely open. Everything you need will come. So keep going. Trust me. What's about to happen won't have anything to do with your power, your works, or your effort. It will be my power, my favor, and my purpose. You're about to receive an out-of-this-world blessing. Type 444 If you believe In moments when you feel weak, know that my strength is made perfect in weakness. Lean on me and allow my power to work through you. When the world feels heavy, when your heart is weary, come to me rest in my embrace, and let me renew your spirit. Sometimes God will isolate you before he elevates you. You may think that everything is falling apart, but actually everything is falling into place. Type 2020, if you have faith in Lord. In God's word, he reminds us that as he has planned, so it will be. You have authority on earth to be and do what he's called you to. Understanding and accepting his authority in you is a posture that we should always walk in. You are a child of the Most High King. You have authority in Christ. Be encouraged and continue to walk in the authority given to you by the Lord. The Lord of Heaven's armies has sworn this oath. It will all happen as I have planned. It will be as I have decided. Seasons is defined as one of the four periods of the year. Time, division, term, opportunity, occasion. God knew what he was doing when he created the different seasons. The earth needs each of them, and we need the different seasons he brings into our lives too. Just like nature has four different seasons, our lives seem to have different spiritual seasons too. God is in control of all of the seasons, whether natural or within life. There are four seasons we will go through. Dry season it's when God is quiet or you can't hear his voice or sense his presence as you once did. Comment, Amen, if you believe. 96% of people have no clue this method exists. For manifesting money, there is a powerful manifestation technique. It changes your beliefs on reality in the deepest level of the subconscious mind. It literally changed my life, give it an honest try. Click the link in our bio to see if this works for you too. He seems very distant. In this season, it's also good to do a self-examination. In other words, check to see if there's anything that may be causing the silence or dryness. The waiting season waiting can be quite difficult. But hang in there. He's planning. He's pruning you. He's chiseling away what's not needed for the next level. He's making you ready. So let him work. The grinding season recognize what needs to get done, write things down, and press through with the strength God gives you, His provision and divine grace. Rely on the Holy Spirit to lead and help you get through the grinding season, the tests and trials season if you're going through some hard times. Know that God is with you right there in the midst of it all. He's totally at work. Type, I love you God, to affirm. It's time to move.
Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is his good, pleasing and perfect will. Take a moment to consider this question. Are your choices taking you to your destiny? When making room for God to move in your life, it's essential to move on from destructive patterns, habits and relationships. Because while it may not be easy, those attractions and distractions will only hold you back from God's promises. So take a risk today and make a move. God is ready to do more than you can imagine in and through you. Dear friends, I come to you with a heavy heart and a sense of urgency. God is sending three alert signs that we must receive before April 16th, or we will be left behind. It is crucial that we pay attention and heed these signs, for they are a warning from God himself. If you want to attract huge money effortlessly, starting today, check link in comments below to know the shocking wealth secrets revealed by rogue NASA scientists. Subscribe our channel if you believe in God. The second sign is the increasing division and hatred among people. We are seeing a rise in racism, bigotry and intolerance. Families are torn apart, friendships are broken, and communities are divided. This is not the way God intended for us to live. He calls us to love one another, but instead, we are turning against each other. This is a clear sign that we are in desperate need of God's love and guidance. The third sign is the moral decline of society. We are bombarded with messages of greed, immorality, and selfishness. The values and principles that were once held in high regard are now mocked and rejected. We are living in a world where good is seen as evil and evil is seen as good. This is a dangerous path that will only lead to destruction. It is a sign that we have strayed far from God's plan for us. May the Lord's face shine upon you. My friends, these signs are not to be taken lightly. They are a wake-up call from God, urging us to turn back to Him before it is too late. We must humble ourselves and seek His forgiveness. We must also spread His message of love and salvation to those around us. The time is short, and we must act now. Do not let April 16th pass without receiving these signs and taking action. Do not be left behind while the world faces the consequences of its actions. Let us come together as one, united in faith and love, and turn to God before it is too late. May we all have the wisdom and discernment to see these signs and the courage to act upon them. May God bless us all. Type. This too shall pass. To affirm. The reason why the enemy is fighting you is because there is a calling on your life. There is an assignment for you to fulfill that he's trying to stop. The fact that you have forces trying to stop you is a sign that you have a great destiny and purpose on your life. Take control of your thought life. Every morning when you wake up, declare, This is going to be a great day. I'm excited about my future. I have the favor of God, and no weapon formed against me will prosper. I am strong. I am healthy. I am blessed. Attacks always happen right before a breakthrough. 
It's the devil's last ditch attempt to throw you off because it's clear things are lining up for God to promote and bless you. Stay the course. Your blessing is coming. Keep watering yourself. You're growing. God is infinitely greater than any problem that you've ever faced. Learn to trust him and he will never let you down. Type 1010 to receive it. God is saying to you today, in moments when you feel fragile or doubt your abilities, turn to my comforting words from 2 Corinthians. My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. It's okay to acknowledge your vulnerabilities, for in them, my strength and grace manifest profoundly. Lean on me, and together we'll transform every challenge into a testament of my enduring power and your resilience. I am the ultimate provider. Rely on me for your every need. I am your rock and stronghold in times of trouble. Trust in my faithfulness, for I will never leave you nor forsake you. God says, When storms of life gather, and the winds of change overwhelm you, hold tightly to my words from Psalms. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. In my embrace, you'll find a refuge that shelters and a presence that calms. Whenever the tempests rise, seek solace in the sanctuary of my love, knowing that I am your steadfast protector, always ready to comfort and uphold you. Type, I claim it. If you receive this declaration, God is saying to you today, expect good news, expect supernatural change. This is your season for blessings and favor. You're going to be notified that something wonderful has worked in your favor. Get ready. Something good is about to happen. Never limit your prayers because you think you are sinful or undeserving. You're not praying because of who you are. You are praying because of who he is. I know you've been worrying a lot. Don't worry about tomorrow. Do not be anxious about the future. I hold it in my hands and I will guide you through every situation. My child, during times when shadows seem to lengthen and the weight of the world feels heavy, hold fast to my words from Matthew. You are the light of the world. Remember, even the tiniest flame can illuminate the darkest spaces. Trust in the radiant spirit I've placed within you and let your inner light shine brilliantly dispelling the shadows and bringing warmth to all you encounter. Type 1212 if you believe this. What you're about to discover today is life-changing. One minute you're struggling to pay bills, swamped with money worries, and the next minute, you're attracting money like steel to a magnet. What makes this life-changing difference in people's lives? It's called the genetic wealth code once you activate it. Your life will never be the same again. You can activate your genetic wealth code here today. It's best to activate this code now, while this page is still live. Tap the link in my comments to activate your genetic wealth code. I pray against any struggle and demonic stronghold you've been battling with. I pray whatever it may be that it will break off of you right now in the name of Jesus. God is saying to you today, walk in your shame, Mackenzie freedom, walk in your deliverance, walk in your healing, walk in your breakthrough.
The devil has to loose himself off of you because you're covered by the blood of Jesus. No more tossing and turning with this struggle. You are free in Jesus' name. For who F Son sets free is free indeed. God has brought a great reward in my life and recompense for the abuse that I suffered in my earlier days. Now I have a wonderful life. God blesses me. He does things for me. He opens doors of opportunity for me. He makes me happy. He gives me joy. When you really trust God, He will bring justice into your life. In Isaiah 61 verse 7 the Lord says, For your former shame I will give you a double reward. If someone has mistreated you, rejected you, abused you, or abandoned you, hold on to that promise. You have many blessings ahead of you. Trust God with your future, and enjoy your day as you wait for God's justice. Type. I believe in myself. To affirm. Yes. It's very difficult to tolerate certain situations and people. But always remember that tolerance is a form of virtue. Your capacity to endure pain hardships will be noticed by God. God honors the sacrifice and effort you put to remain quiet at the most uncomfortable and intolerable circumstances. For tolerance is from God, and whoever tolerates has been born of God and knows God. Your endurance through this pain is hano by God. Child, instead of judging behavior and weaknesses of others, ask me what I am trying to show you. My love, you are called to see things deeper, when they appear only on the surface to others. So, when you are in a stormy environment, pray for discernment. Sometimes I will ask you to pray for them, other times I will teach you how to handle these battles, yet other times I will reveal traits that in a certain form dwell in you. This is why, my chosen one, never judge. Bring the case to me, and I will reveal you the truth I love you. Type Amen if you agree. The enemy tries to convince us that we're not worthy of love, that we can't be forgiven, and that no one cares about what we're going through. It's important to recognize this for what it really is, a lie. The enemy works through difficulty, accusation, and temptation to disengage us from the love of God. But the greatest reality is that God is good, and He will always love us. When we lose our awareness of God's constant love, it's because we fixed our eyes on a lie. Nothing compares to the love of God. Remind yourself of this today by declaring the words, God loves me. Do this every day. And watch how this truth changes your perspective of how valued you are by your Heavenly Father. The person who has truly been born of. God is not comfortable with habitual sin that continues for any length of time. Born again believers cannot sin without the Holy Spirit convicting them, challenging them, and creating remorse within them. They cannot get away from the need for repentance. The most dangerous place for an individual to be in is for them to sin and not feel conviction anymore. This is the ultimate sign that the Holy Spirit's presence is not dwelling within them. Anyone who is truly born of God will never be a successful sinner. Type, I'm abundant to claim. Take care of yourself. Type yes. If you're ready, 
and share this video with five people who trust God. Comment, Jesus is Lord. To support our channel, please subscribe our channel and turn on bell notification.